Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this bouncy, sick distro transition. We'll be using Sapphire to do this. So make sure you have Sapphire to follow up with the tutorial. But anyways, now in my timeline, you can see I have all of these clips, which I'm thinking to add the sick on. So for that, go over to your cut where like your cut is and make a new adjustment layer we'll be starting off with these two like clips so we can copy the shake onto other and one thing i actually forgot to mention this is a shake from my shake pack so if i open up my animation preset go to user preset and shake pack and sd you can see i have all of these like distort shake i have five of them and this is like the distort one if i show you now you can see it is pretty similar so we're gonna create this look right here so if you want this sake preset and also many more i'll link it in the description if you want to download but anyways to start off as you might already guessed we're gonna add sapphire shake in here so add sapphire shake and go to frequency and set it to 11 falsely and hit the stop pause into amplitude and write in your cut make the value to 2 yeah i guess 2 would be good you can like play around always so let's just go to for now now and go like two frame forward so around here and i'm gonna set it to zero and go a bit further on the backwards and set it to zero as well then you can easy those keyframes go into graph and make a graph like this this is really important this is really important to make your like the six moves so make sure to do this so make a graph like this by the way i'm in fellow graph if you're wondering and now we have turned on my motion blur now after that you can see our sick is ready to go and it looks so smooth right there so this is also a little sauce if you don't know how to like make six just go into like graph and make sure you have like that graph that i made and the frequency is on the right value and you get a dope shake. but anyways now we're gonna add the distort for that we're gonna use sapphire distort chroma as you might already guessed and firstly go over to blur lens and set it around like 300 and hit the stop watch in the amount first and at the cut make it 100 that's fine but go to like like three frame backward and lower down the value to negative 120 yeah something like that then go over like three frame again and make it like positive so positive so positive 200 or something and at the last just lower it down to zero back to zero and you can just copy those same keyframe on the beginning so something like this then now easy is those keyframe and if i now play it through you can see we have this really smooth bouncy distort going on that easily you can go over to blur lens and bring it up as always to get like different looks you can see this looks even bouncy but i think i'm gonna go with 300 you can even experiment by like lowering down it more and seeing around but i guess 300 and more would look really dope but after that you can add something like an exposure with it so hit the stop watch in it and in the cut make it like two on uh, two like like that and go over a few frame and set it to zero so you can see we have our little flash as it goes looks really hard and as in the preset i used a flicker so sapphire flicker hit the stop watch in it and pretty much the same thing in here with the flicker so bring up the value at the cut on like 0.8 and go over to end and go down to zero you can see that looks super cool right there and now you can see our shake is almost done that looks super clean right there you can copy this adjustment layer. let me just trim it till here copy this and paste it on others like there and you can just like play around with the blur lens to get a variety of shakes so you can see we have a different shake right here as that and at the last i'm gonna make another adjustment layer and open up my fx and preset and show you the shakes on my shake pack real quick so you can get a better idea what my shake pack does i'm gonna use distro shake 2 and i'm gonna like line it up so you can see we have like more bouncy sick on it i can see a little tiling problem right here because our footage is like too close up but you shouldn't have it so if you want to download the pack the full thing you can go over the description and download it but anyways my final result looks something like this so i think that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this i'm trying to post daily so i really appreciate it you can follow me on instagram so in my discord server do all that good stuff and i'ma see you tomorrow peace